In this video, we're going to talk about liquidity ratios, specifically the current ratio and the quick ratio. A liquidity ratio measures the ability of a company to pay its short-term financial obligations as they become due, typically within one year. So the first ratio we're going to talk about is the current ratio. So this ratio compares the current assets of a company to its current liabilities. Now, what you need to know is that if this number is greater than one, that's a good thing. That means that the current assets exceed the current liabilities. If the current ratio is less than one, that means that the current assets is less than the current liabilities. When a company's liabilities exceeds its assets, that's usually not a good sign. That's a bad sign. But when a company's assets exceed its liabilities, that's typically a good thing. So let's talk about an example that is going to illustrate that. So we're going to compare two companies, company A and company B. Let's say that company A has 200 million in current assets. And the same is true for company B. Now company A is going to have let's say 100 million in liabilities, that is current liabilities, and company B is going to have 400 million in current liabilities. So the current ratio for company A, it's going to be the current assets divided by the current liabilities. 200 divided by 100 is 2, or 2.0. For company B, it's 200 million divided by 400 million. So that's a current ratio of 0.5. And as you could see, for company A, the current assets exceed the current liabilities. Company A has 200 million in assets, which is greater than 100 million. And so that's a good thing. And we can see that the current ratio is above one. For company B, the liabilities exceed the assets. That's not a good thing. It's not a good thing to owe more than what you have. So in this case, the current assets is less than the current liabilities. And we can see that the current ratio is less than one. And so that's a bad thing. Let's work on this example problem. Company XYZ has 500 million in current assets, 50 million in inventory, and 30 million in prepaid expenses. It has 300 million in current liabilities. What is the current ratio for this company? So the current ratio is going to be the current assets divided by the current liabilities. So this company has 500 million in current assets. And it has 300 million in current liabilities. So we just need to divide those two numbers. It's 500 million divided by 300 million. And so that's going to be 1.67. So it's above one, which means that the assets exceed the liabilities. So that's how you can calculate the current ratio of a company. Now let's move on to part B. What is the quick ratio for this company? The quick ratio is another liquidity ratio. It also measures the ability of a company to pay its short-term financial obligations. The quick ratio is equal to the liquid assets of a company divided by the current liabilities. So this would be the current assets minus the inventory that a company has minus any prepaid expenses divided by the current liability. 
So the current assets is 500 million in this example. The inventory that the company has is 50 million. Now the inventory is not really a liquid asset because if a company has to sell its inventory, to sell it quickly, it may have to offer it at a discount. So it's not really considered a liquid asset. The prepaid expenses are 30 million divided by the current liabilities of 300 million. So this is 500 minus 50 minus 30. So that's 420. And then we need to divide 420 by 300. So the quick ratio for this problem is 1.4 which is above one. And that's good because you want the liquid assets to exceed the current liabilities. That means that the company can pay its short-term financial obligations within a year. Now let's work on another problem. Calculate the quick ratio for company ABC using the information shown below. So as we said before, the quick ratio is going to be the liquid assets divided by the current liabilities. Now the liquid assets will be the sum of any cash the company has, any cash equivalents, accounts receivable, that's where a customer owes the company money for services that the company performed, but the customer hasn't paid yet. And then plus marketable securities. This could be stocks, bonds, and other types of securities. So in this example, the amount of cash that the company has is 400 million. It has 100 million in cash equivalents and 60 million in accounts receivable. And then 140 million in marketable securities. And we're going to divide that by the current liabilities, which is 280 million. So 400 plus 100 plus 60 plus 140. So that's 700 million in liquid assets. We're going to divide that by 280 million in current liabilities. So because the liquid assets exceed the current liabilities, we should expect the ratio that is greater than one. 700 divided by 280 is 2.5. So that's the quick ratio. When a quick ratio exceeds one, if it's larger than one, that's a good thing. That means that the company has enough liquid assets to pay off its current liabilities.